Good afternoon, everybody. How are we all doing on this miserable Monday? Whatever the weather is like by you. I've just pulled up, ready to pick Olivia up from the school. So she'll have to walk down and come and meet me because he ain't picking on the mat rock. Sorry. <laughs> my speech isn't very great today. Fibro speech and my brain fog is somewhere else. Oh my lord. So I thought I'd do a video whilst I'm out waiting for Madam. Because I tried doing it earlier. But I was so half asleep that I couldn't even focus on what I was saying. And, and when I looked over it again, it didn't make sense. So I thought, delete that and restart. So that's what I'm doing, restarting. Um, I, I re I'm not kidding, the fatigue was really bad. I don't know what happened. What were happening with my eye then? Did you notice that? Or was it just me? That eye there just went a bit weird. You probably not noticed, but when I went out, I hope it. I don't know, I don't know if it because my glasses were like that. But my eye just looked like it was... <laughs> anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so, like I say, the pain, my pain levels are pretty high today. I've had some pain relief, that's why I'm able to talk. Um, but I don't know what was going off with my right arm today. But one minute I was alright, and next minute I just dropped a cup. Like, I lost all... Like, I just couldn't hold on to anything. Has anyone ever... I think my glasses need fixing because I think it's... I thought my eye was going to fall out or something. Anyway, overreacting. So that part, of the, the muscle part of your arm there, oh, it's hurting like mad. And then it's, it feels like I'm getting... Someone's like... And then let it go. And then it goes into another one. And then it lets go. But today I just... I lost all strength in my arm. But am I, am, I having, am I having a stroke? Have you ever noticed that you go straight to the uh, the bad stuff? I know I do with my uh, negative thinking. And I am trying to work on that. Believe me, I am. Because, yeah, I'm, I'm overthinking and bad. everything was bad yesterday. But I, that's why I, I tried to distract myself by doing that video about cleaning and people with fibro chronic illnesses because... You know, sometimes those little advice, uh, little tips come in handy. I know I watch a lot of people and things like that it's come in handy so I can try it. Uh, but, yeah. So, as you all know, I did. If, well, if you're new to this channel, you won't do. So, you'll have to go check it out in my Just Essential video that I did at Asda last week. So, tonight is the night I'm going to make a Just Essential lasagna. Because I got the stuff the other day. So let's see if it tastes as good as it sounds. My lasagna sounds good. <laughs> like a cheese. Yeah. You know, you, you, you go, oh, I don't know. I'm getting frustrated with myself because, sorry, it's because I pulled my seat right far back. So you're not getting my face right there. So, ah, oh, jeez, it's happening again. I'm getting frustrated with myself because I feel like, one minute, I feel like I can conquer the world and do this and do that, and then next minute, I cannot remember what I... It's like last night, I was, I was making plans on certain things, and I woke up this morning thinking, I, I have no chance. I have no cutting chance of doing what I want would like to do. And I know people go, well, you're never too old to, to dream or to do what you want to do, and I'm like, yeah. Maybe I am a bit too old for that. Maybe I am too stupid and thick for that. You know what I mean? I'm, sorry, I'm putting myself down. But I'll, since when Olivia started going to hospital back in 2017, I wanted, I did start wanting to become a nurse. But then I thought, mm, after a few years, I'm like, nah, I don't think I could do sick. You know, and there's things that all thinking that I'll try to. I don't know. I'm too thick, and I'm like, no, I won't be able to do that. And then obviously I started having more issues with my mental health, and so then I started once thinking, yeah, maybe nursing in the mental health field. Now last night I was looking at uh, online courses, but they can 
actually send a pack out to you so you can write because obviously at the minute I don't have a, a computer um, and I don't I can't remember I think it was 300 and summer quid but it's you pay like you can pay month, yearly or two yearly and, the, as, and then you can pay monthly you know uh, but they wanted a down payment yesterday and I'm like oh sugar that I bought in bank you'll have to wait and then because it's like it helps you go into mental health nursing but then I've woke up this morning thinking I remember doing that but how am I meant to do that job if I can't retain information? Because I can, like now, I did a, like, I've started doing this video. I can't remember what I've just said about 10 minutes ago. I'm really, you see what I mean? I just don't know. I can't retain it. I'm no good at, I'm dyslexic as well. And I know that shouldn't stop you. Because I know there's support out there. But I'm, I'm I don't know this because I'm, I'm just feeling a bit, but uh, does anyone, does anyone at the minute, a five, that a five or chronic illness, do you work? How, and if you do, how do you cope? Because I get these clip day, like a few hours where my mind's just clear and I'm like, yeah, I could do that, I could do this, I could do that. Maybe if I don't do mental health, maybe I'm a support worker. But then you've got to have these qualifications, and then you've got to have that qualification, you've got to have grade C, uh, A to C's. I'm like, I'm not that bright. You know what I mean? My GCSEs, uh, I've got D in English, D in, in English literature, D in drama. Um, and I think if I did my English a little bit more tidier and the spelling, because... Obviously, back then, I didn't get no support or help um, and full stops and stuff like that. If I'd done that, I think I would have got to see. My maths is something else. I ain't got a clue. I'd, I'd, I'd just wing that because I didn't have a clue of what I was doing. Or I ain't got... I don't know. I used to copy off my friends half the time, but you can't do that in the exams, can you? So... <laughs> I don't know, let me know if, and I thought, if I did ever get a job, you know what I mean, who's going to want to employ someone that's going to need time off all the time because they're too tired, you know what I mean, or they're in pain and they can't do the job properly because of it, then I'm all getting myself upset about it because I thought, I'm never going to be able to follow my dreams. Um. But my CPN, I, su I suggested maybe do a bit of voluntary work for about an hour or two a day. See how you go with that first. But in my mind, this is how my mind works. It's like, no, I want to be qualified now. I want it now. And I want to be working now. And I want to do this now, 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 now. And that's how my mind works. And then in reality, it, I know it's never going to happen because I'm too tired all the time. I haven't got the strength to be. Can you imagine me being a mental health nurse? And I've obviously been in a mental health hospital before for my, my depression and stuff. And you have, if you have a patient that, or client, whatever the call client is, it, or service users, I think it is, um, in certain hospitals, and you've got to restrain not. For their own safety, restrain them for their own safety. You've got to pin them down because I've seen, I've had it done when I've had, yeah, and it hurts, by the way. Um, and they pin you down one on one hand and then like spread you out like you're doing a starfish on the floor. It hurts as well for the person that's getting it done to, but I like, yeah, brain fog. I've got no chance. I'm, fe I'm fed up with myself. I'm like, why me? And I'm sure many other people with fibro is, is saying the same thing. Why me? And then I'm thinking, is it the second child uh, thing? Because I've noticed with kids that are second child, they've got everything the parents got. And I'm like, it must be me. I'm a second child. But I don't know, I'm just kicking myself in, in the ass at the minute because I'm fed up with it. I'm getting upset over it. It's affecting me and I've got no chance. Especially, and I'm like, do I go to the doctors to get my blood taken? Maybe it's my vitamin D, maybe it's somewhere else. 
and that's when you start getting paranoid and then yeah I can't believe this rain I really can't sorry someone walking past my car and I have to pretend I'm not talking to myself <laughs> oh I had uh, something happened to me in my flat last night I'm not kidding you do you ever get a feeling you, you just sat there and you think Some, I feel like someone's watching me and I saw it out the corner of my eye a figure stood in my hallway um, and I'm like uh, don't move now, Hannah. There's something stood there. <laughs> she didn't hear me because she had a head. I didn't realise she had her headphones on. Um, and it was just one of them quick, and then and it had gone. So it was a figure of a man. I thought, uh, and I was like, hello, hello. I do have a app on my phone as well, um, of a spirit thing. So. It's supposed to be good that one because it the in parallel me perth but excuse my fibro speech i'm getting tired now so i'm probably good after end this video and i've been babbling on for 11 minutes about god knows what because i can't remember <laughs> and louise has finished school because she just messaged me um yeah i've got an app uh paranormal investigators use on the tv and i've had a few little uh words come through there so yeah and last night I was sick as well. And I think when you're feeling that you're most vulnerable, that's when you get visitations. Especially when I'm missing Alfie or Biscuit, I tend to get a lot of them. But that's for another video. Anyhow, guys, thanks again for watching. I will probably do a little clip of my dinner that I'll be making of the Just Essentials for tonight and then it'll be in tomorrow's video because I was gonna start doing videos of not the same day of doing it like today I'm doing a video but it'll be up on Tuesday and then when I do a video on Tuesday it'll be up on Wednesday but it'll be a lot of YouTubers do it I thought then it gives me a chance to actually st see if I can mess about with my videos a little bit and edit them and cut things try and cut things out um but we'll get there eventually we'll, uh, yeah uh i got a bit of indigestion <gasps> i remember working in, i've got to say this before i got i used to work in a care home when i was about 15 um doing weekend work after doing um work experience they let me do a saturday job and i remember this old lady uh she was blind and deaf and she pressed the buzzer so i went in and I won't kiss she got um she goes, I got indigestion, pass me a bucket. I'm like, uh uh <laughs> what do I do bucket? And then another instance, same lady got her up. And she, bearing in mind this lady was six foot or something because I were only tiny. And then I, I fell on bed. She fell on me. I'm like, ah anyway guys. I'll let you know how to, uh, the meal goes. As you'll, I, like I say, I'll film it if I remember. And I'll let you know how it tastes as well. And I will be doing some more shopping challenges soon. So don't forget to look out for those videos. Thanks again for watching. And don't forget to hit that like button. Pop a comment in below. Uh, how your day is going. And whatever I've been babbling on about. Comment. It helps with the health of them as well. I can never say that word. It helps YouTube push it out a little bit more to other people. Anyway, and don't forget to press that notification bell and I'll see you in the next video. See you later. Bye bye.